In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import plat of surveys. Now, there's two different types of plat of surveys. There's a vectorized plat of survey and a rasterized plat of survey, and I'll cover what those look like in each of these tutorials. The benefits to a plat of survey is that you're actually giving more information up front, and you can use that information to create your landscape base map that ultimately leads to a precise plan. Now, to show you the difference between a rasterized survey and a vectorized survey, the one that you're looking at right here is a rasterized survey. And we know that by because it looks a little bit distorted, maybe gray around the edges. But if I marquee zoom in, you can see that there's pixelation around the edges. Now, if I went to a vectorized plat of survey and I did the same thing, I zoomed in, the edges always remain the same. And what's nice about a vectorized plat of survey is you can import this line work directly into AutoCAD and start working with the line work immediately. The other one you're gonna have to draw from scratch. So to import a PDF, you use the command import. Once you find the file, a box like this will come up and it's important to know which PDF you're working with, whether it's a rasterized or a vectorized because you're gonna know which boxes to fill in. Because we know that this is a roster PDF, I'm going to uncheck all of the buttons but only remain the one with roster images on. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now your plat of survey is in AutoCAD where you can begin to trace over the line work, but first you definitely need to scale this image up to its exact size. And to import a vectorized plat of survey, it is the same process. We're gonna type in import. And once you're done locating the file, this is a very important screen. And we're gonna to want to check vector geometry. So AutoCAD is gonna recognize that this is line work that it could bring in and it will. So we're gonna check vector geometry, solid fills, troop type text, and we can include any roster images. So this is meaning that if there's embedded images within this PDF, it will bring it in. So we will also check roster images. We'll want to join the arc line and segments, convert solid fills to hatches, apply line work, and check this last one. You know that it's a vectorized survey because you're seeing it on the bottom left-hand corner. And now it's imported as a block. We can use the command explode. And now all of our line work is in AutoCAD. Both of these methods are taught in our course, AutoCAD for Landscape Design, that's available on the landscapelibrary.com. Subscribe now for more trainings, videos, or tutorials.